pushed it. All right. What's going on, YouTube? This is uh, Ice Cold Eskimo, and I just picked up some uh, some new gaming gaming crap. I'm trying to start my own collection again from you know classics. I'm trying to pick up some old old gems, and today I bought myself bam Dreamcast. Check that shit out. Super dope. Cost me like 20 something bucks. It wasn't bad. Came with controller. All the hookups and whatnot. Yada yada yada. Got a fucking VMU. Do you guys remember this shit, man? This was this is like a, a Tamagotchi memory card. There was a few games you could actually like link these things together and you would get like a little mini game to play. Like a Sonic Adventure. You could put a chow in here and you know, other people who had it, you can like link up and you know do stuff. AV ports, and I picked up Virtual On. This game was the shit, man. It was a freaking robot fighter. All right, we got Avid over here hating because that's what he does best. But Virtual On for the Dreamcast, man, it's pretty much just a giant mechs fighting. But it's like one dude's riding a freaking surfboard. There's like a tank thing. It's I'm pretty sure this game got a re-release or at least a sequel on Xbox Live. Didn't come to PlayStation though, which is the console I play. So I'm a little bummed about that, but yeah, I'll survive. I'll survive. And the game I'm really happy to get back is Shinmu. Now this game is freaking dope. If you've ever played uh, Yakuza or anything like that, this was pretty much the precursor to that. It was an open world with a day and night cycle. You could get a freaking part-time job. You can go to stores, just buy little like. It was a living, breathing world that you had to play your story out in. You know, your father got killed by some kung fu master dude, and uh, you know, you're a little butt hurt about it, and you want it, you want some revenge. It's a three disc game, man. Good times. I remember last time I had this, the third disc was scratched, and I could never finish it. That pissed me off, man. I got a PS2 memory card. Add that in there just because I got a PS2 a while ago just so I could uh, get like Persona 4, stuff like that. I got Tales of the Abyss, Baldur's Gate 2, and whatnot. But I don't have a memory card. Now I do, and I'm freaking hyped about that. And the last game I got is freaking awesome. It is Breath of Fire 3. Now this cost me, what, 30 bucks? 30 bucks. But highly recommended. I hear, I haven't played it, I haven't beaten it. There's tons of freaking RPGs out there I haven't beaten. But the store owner was like, dude, if you haven't beaten this game, go back and do it. So he convinced me to get it. And luckily, PS3s still freaking play PS1 games. For all you people out there, I might not have known about that. So I can still play that. Hold up. Hold up what? Are those retail prices? Retail price? I don't fucking know. I didn't Amazon any of these. Is that $34? Yes, it's $34. I know, I know. I should have freaking Amazoned or something, but I just wanted to check it out, and I was right there in a the moment, and no, this is not... No, that's worth it. Yeah, this Virtual is... Virtual is not worth it. Yeah, well, all right. Look up Virtual on real quick while I talk about my game stuff and tell me how much I lost on this game, because I don't care. All right, I got three amazing games and, you know, a Dreamcast... Dreamcast is actually a little beat up. I'm a little butthurt about that, but like I don't know if you can see it, but there's like scratches on the front too. Is that the only one they had? It's kind of yeah, this is the only one they had. It's kind of dusty on the inside. You might not be able to see it that well, but I don't give a crap, dude. This drink, I can play burnt games on this. All right, I can just burn games and freaking play. How much is it? Brand new. Sealed is thirty-four dollars. Used is ten dollars and fifty-eight cents. Yeah. Well, I don't care. I got my games. Bam. Now to add this to my gargantuan collection of games and RPGs and whatnot, I've yet to beat. See up here, we got Final Fantasy VIII, which I've I got this for free from a friend. He's he works at a game store and some lady came in trying to trade this in but they said they couldn't take it so the lady just like I don't even want it so they gave it to him and he was like I don't want it either you can have it haven't beaten that I haven't beaten like 90% of these games there you probably can't see it at that angle 
but I think I've beaten at least 20 of these games, really. Like, freaking Ico, Shadow of the Colossus, I haven't even fucking touched that. Heavy Rain, I haven't touched Final Fantasy 13 or 13 2. I kind of just buy these games to have a collection for, you know, when I want to play them. But, you know, Tales of Fantasia over here. What is it? Oh, this is like my anime crap. But, I recently bought these too. Let me take this over to the light. See it a little better. Bam. Let's see. I picked up Tales of the Abyss. I think this was like, like 20 bucks. Bam. Picked up Persona 3 Fest. I haven't played this either. Like, I, re I just got into Persona. Dark Alliance 2. This game is so freaking hard to find. I remember the first time I played this, it pissed me off. I played with a friend of mine, and we did not know that you share gold in that game. So I was, I'm the one who goes around collecting everything, you know, making all the money and whatnot, trying to get every little nook and cranny, and my friend just kind of plows through it, not caring. When we get to the store, he immediately starts buying stuff, and I'm like, all right, whatever, dude. I didn't even realize you made that much money. And then when I go to uh, buy something, I'm broke. And I was just like, what the F, dude? Screw this, and I never really got through that game. And Final Fantasy XII. This game has an interesting story for me. When this first came out, I was still in high school, and all of my friends freaking bought it. And, you know, it was cool. No, I didn't, I didn't really have money to buy it back then, so I kind of just hung out with them while they played every now and then. But one night, we went to a friend's house, and he's got, like, a pretty big place. His parents were gone, so everyone brought over their TVs and, uh, you know, whatnot. And they were, there was, like, I kid you not, about five people playing the game in the room. And they were all at different intervals trying to, like, you know, one-up each other. But I didn't have it, and I was the only one who didn't have it. And I sat in the room on the couch why? while five people played this freaking game. And I was bored out of my freaking mind. And it kind of killed the experience for me. I never wanted to go back and play it again after that. Because I didn't want to see that. I think I saw the little Vaughn, is the main character, I'm pretty sure. Him throw those stupid little fireballs like a million times. Now there's a funny story behind that too. That night I was so dead. I went in the bathroom, you know, washed up and whatnot after using it. Because, you know, I was fucking sitting there with nothing to do but drink soda. When I come out, they're in, somebody's in this, like, uh, what is it, Fran, whatever race she is, Vieira, whatever, they went to her village, and yeah, there's tons of freaking, like, half-naked girls walking around, and I created something called the Thunder Thrust, it was, like, a really stupid fucking, like, little joke, you'd, like, you know, I don't even want to, <laughs> if you want to hear the rest of this joke, let me know. I'll, I guess I'll make a video about it, but it, it's a sexual one, and it has to do with those little fireballs being thrown in regions after, you know, things go down. But yeah, this is my swag pickup for, I could say the week, because I actually bought these a few days ago. But yeah, this is my little come up right now, and this is going to keep me busy, hopefully, I need to get some batteries for this, hopefully for at least, to be honest, it's probably going to be like, the end of the day and I'm just gonna forget I even have these and start looking for more games I, I'm like addicted to collecting crap but yeah this is my come up for now stay tuned oh do you want me to all right I've also bought a freaking regular Nintendo not too long ago for what was it, like 20 bucks 25 bucks and it came with a stack of games I have not played it since I bought it but 8-bit has I got freaking punch out came with it uh, of course this I got two copies of this crap came with it Super Mario 3 came with it which you know is a great game everybody knows I haven't touched it yet Bart's freaking what is this Bart versus the world every Simpson game I've ever played for an old console has always turned out to be a pile of crap I cannot get into those um, what is this Gyromite. I'm pretty sure this is the game you play with Rob. The freaking robot thing. You guys are probably more familiar with them from Smash Bros. 
Uh, yeah. Never gonna play that. What the fuck is this? WrestleMania Challenge. This is the first thing 8-Bit popped in when we got here. I have no freaking clue why, but it looks like doo-doo. And if anyone's seen any angry video game nerd videos, this logo right here, one sec, my crap's like focusing horrible. This logo is pretty much the mark of a failure. It's going to be a bad game, and of course it is. And then I got Smash TV. I actually have played this when I was younger, and I remember it being awesome, and it still is. But, you know, like I said, I haven't touched my console since I bought it. But I am very eager to uh, start up collections and whatnot. I think the next thing I should buy is a Super Nintendo. How much? I saw top loaders there for 30 bucks. I think I'm gonna. Oh, I bought this stuff at a store called Luna Video Game Video Games. If you're ever in El Cajon, San Diego, whatever, and you want to freaking yes, 8-bit, I got the freaking this crap too with my freaking Nintendo, and I got two controllers. You don't need to throw them all down here. But if you're ever around and you want to check out some like old games. It's a decent place to go. You're not going to find them any super deals or anything. Don't buy games. Don't don't buy games. If you're 8-bit, don't buy games. You have a computer that is a magical portal into not supporting developers. No. No? You don't buy stupid expensive games. You know how hard it is to find that physical? No, I Google. Oh, yeah. All right. Sorry, Amazon. Amazon everything is your, your answer for the world. All right, well... This is Frozen Pixel Gaming. I'm 8-Bit. I mean, you didn't see my... I'm not 8-Bit. Fuck that, no. This loser over here. These socks right there, that's 8-Bit. But uh, I'm Ice Cold Eskimo. And I'm you know, sorry you don't get to see my face in this one, but, you know, whatever. But uh, stay tuned for more videos. We're going to be coming with more content as soon as we stop being lazy assholes, which we are. So they're coming. <laughs>